Hey everyone, so today we're doing a unboxing of the GHD Air Professional Performance Hair Dryer. Uh, the GHD, I think it stands for Good Hair Day. It's a British company that's famous for manufacturing um, designer or high performance hair dryers. My wife um, wanted to get this because she always had a cheap $10 um, hair dryer from the department stores and um, uh, mainly because she doesn't use hair dryer that much but I think just recently she discovered how much more convenient it is to use the hair dryer to dry her hair she had long hair um, and she wanted something just a little bit better and I said uh, uh, if you want something better why, why don't we just get one that's well reviewed um, on the internet so if other people says it's good, it's probably going to be good. And of course, reasonably priced. Um, this thing, um, it's retailing in Sephora or on Sephora.com for about $200 plus tax. But um, I actually found this fun deal um, on the Overstock.com selling the exact same model of the JT, JHD Air Pro for $130. $30 or something like that and it was a really good price compared to where other places was selling it so I grabbed it and it just got in today so uh, we're gonna do an unboxing and uh, in terms of user experience um, that we have to come back and update later when my wife actually uses it okay so on the back of the panel it just says it's designed in collaboration with um, top stylists and uh, it's had, it had a salon strength AC motor for more powerful, faster drying and it says outlast other consumer dryers. I don't know what they are comparing to, but I'll take their words for it. Advanced ionic technology. Uh, so basically, I think with the ionic technology, your hair, when once you dry your hair with a ionic hair dryer, it makes your hair shinier. Um, I don't know how long it's going to last, but it does make it shinier right after you dry your hair. And it have a ergonomic design for effortless styling, whether you are right or left-handed, that's great. Because I'm left-handed and uh, if sometimes I get a right-handed product, it's really frustrating, um, like some scissors and mouse. Um, so this is good that it's um, both left-hand and right-hand user-friendly. Let's unbox it. So it's got a outer layer packaging that's kind of paper box. Um, and of course the, in the inside packaging it's a nice black box with some uh, graphics on it take a closer look at the embossed gold graphics so they definitely put some efforts into designing this retail packaging to make it look good just like the other British companies the Dyson their packaging and their presentation is really really good okay so GHD Air Professional Performance Hair Dryer. Let's open the box. Let's see what's inside. Uh, nice. We've got, I think, two different types of attachments. So one is a little bit narrower and one is a little bit wider. I don't know what they are for, since I barely dry my hair with a hair dryer. And um, I mean, at least two attachments is nice. By the way, I got this on sale. Uh, I mentioned before on um, Overstock. If you actually go, if you actually go to Sephora or some other website, they sell a newer model that actually comes with less attachments. I think it doesn't even come with like one of those um, attachments. It's just a hair dryer by itself. Um, let's take it out of the packaging. Okay, caution. Your hair dryer is a high performance product and the nozzle gets hot. So basically ask you to be careful and not torture yourself. Open the box, take the hair dryer out. Nice. And of course the power cord is hidden behind. It's a it's also a very nice power cord as well. It's it's like one of those insulated ones compared to um, your department store hair dryer that actually just have two prong um, wire that you can feel this one is, is insulated okay so that's good of course a surge protector type um, adapter so there's a test and reset all right um, let's see how long is 
this. So this is, uh, it looks like a six foot or nine foot power cord. And uh, the hair dryer itself, it's, it looks pretty nice. I mean, it's, it's a matte finish, so it's not glossy. It does look a little bit better than a lot of like cheaper glossy looking one. And of course, here's another attachment that I don't know what, okay, I think that's, uh, that's an extension type of thing. Not sure what it's for, but it's there. Okay, so it comes with three attachments. And of course, the hairdryer itself. Let's move all the boxes away. The hairdryer is not too heavy, but it's, it have its weight, its own weight in it. Okay, I might be able to plug it in and uh, do a quick test uh, or see how loud it is when it's used. Of course, the instructional manual. Okay, so that is GFCI circuit. You must use a GFCI circuit in your restroom um, or bathroom because it protects you from uh, electric hazard if there's water gets into the way. And uh, the instruction says, I think what this hairdryer frame is for, it's, it's cool shot function. So I think if you press this button, it actually blows some sort of cool air that's not hot or warm. Uh, let's see, using and maintenance, storage, warranty. Uh, yeah, it's a very short instructional manual. Okay, anyway. Move the box away. Okay, so let's take a closer look. And uh, the rear panel, it's a very cool laser cut metal plate. And from the clean instructions, it says you have to regularly um, use a brush, a soft brush, to lightly brush all the stuff that's gonna get sucked into the blower uh, to protect the blower and then maximize its life and it looks really cool let's take a closer look okay and uh, this area it, the strip itself is a gunmetal color but if you are actually in a brighter room it turns into more silver color I think some people was asking on the website that there was discrepancy in terms of the color of the strips. And this one, it's their standard model. It's it's gum metal color, okay? Um, of course, there's your JHD logo. And the cool thing is they have a rubber strip over here. So when you're actually laying it um, on the table, it doesn't get bumped around. So it's very lightly, it, it's got a cushion. So when you lay it, lay it on the table, it doesn't make too much noise and it's also very good because this this rubber prevents it from slipping around it's quite a nice design I like it and also this area the boots is also rubbery so actually if you just set it over here it doesn't move around at all okay very nice and in front take a closer look as well you can see the heating elements it's in a spiral color I mean a spiral shape and see, okay it's metal so a lot of parts inside it's actually metal all metal design it's not it's not plastic like the exterior um, and, uh, over here the um, the cool shot button it's fairly firm to press so you have to use quite a lot of force to press it okay um, and here is the power and speed button so I think this is the fan speed so over here on the bottom it's off mode so if you put it over here it's medium and if you press it all the way it's gonna be high fan speed and here it controls the temperature or the heating element uh, inside the hairdryer 
So over here, I guess it's a default or like warm. And if you put it here, it's, uh, it's hot. And you put it to the third level, push it all the way in. It's very hot. Okay. And take a closer look at those buttons as well. It looks to be really well designed and looks very nice. Okay. Let's actually plug it in and I want to hear the sound and see if it's actually louder or um, less loud than my um, departmental store hair dryer. Okay, plug it in. Turn it on. Huh. And As uh, the initial setting, which is one, it sounds like this. Turn up to the maximum. Okay. If I don't touch this, it's uh, it's blowing cold cold air. So you don't have to press this button as the default. No temperature mode, so a both cold air. All right. So if I actually change it to the warm and hot, it might be able to just produce some heat. So let's give it a try. So I'm just gonna use the medium setting since I, I don't really like when it's really loud. Okay. When you turn it on. The heat is instant, it's instantly hot, and it's quite amazing, it's actually already pretty hot, only on the medium or like the first stage. I think if I put it into second stage, oh, it's really, really, really hot, okay? Now let's try the cool shot button, so if I press the cool shot, If I press the cool shot, it actually lowers the temperature of the hair dryer immediately. So it blows from really hot to cool air in about five seconds. And uh, if I turn the heat all the way off, it's blowing uh, cold air again. So okay, so. The cool shot is very useful if you actually are in the one of those uh, heated up modes. If you're actually in the initial mode, it doesn't it doesn't get heat up at all. So um, the cool shot doesn't do anything. But if as long as you go into the second and the third gear on the heat setting, um, and you press the cool shot, it blows cold air almost immediately. And uh, I'm quite surprised that the heat, the heat element heats up really fast. It's almost instant. So if I turn the hair dryer on and I turn the heat on, it's um, within three seconds to five seconds, the thing gets to really hot, really hot, really fast. And I'm, I'm quite amazed because uh, my department hair dryer when you put it on the extreme hot mode, it's not only really loud and it also heats up quite slowly. It takes at least 10 to 15 seconds to heat up. And this thing is instant. I'm quite amazed. Um, and uh, just by touching around all the elements, it's, it's actually... Okay, it's actually... The exterior is quite cool during normal use. And I'm quite amazed because they actually designed the interior of the element and the exterior to be separate. There's a gap in between. So actually when you heat up the interior, the exterior doesn't get as heated up because they're using some sort of cooling um, mechanism surrounding the, um, the heating elements. So like right now, if I touch here, it's extremely hot. But if you touch everything, every place airs or that like your skin or whatever, it's not hot at all. So this is quite amazing and I'm quite impressed. I may come back and do a update, but um, I think this is a great hair dryer for the price 
and uh, it should also be able to last you for a long time. Uh, in terms of the noise level, it's definitely much less loud or quieter. It's actually quieter than the department store models that we've bought um, for a while. And uh, definitely a plus and thumbs up to this JHD Air Professional Hair Dryer. Excellent, excellent. I'll post the link below. Um, you guys can follow the link and get a good deal on this hair dryer as well. Otherwise, uh, thank you so much for um, watching and I hope you guys have a great day.